Hi there, I'm Elga Valovirta and today I'm gonna check out PRS MT15 Mark Tramati signature tube amp. Yeah, 15 watt tube amp. <laughs> I have the clean channel on zero. I just like literally hooked this up, plugged it in. I was like, whoa, that's a different sound, but also really cool. Because it, it reminds me a bit of a, let's actually turn a couple of on, these on. Kind of like rectifier, but a little bit better. I mean, I have presence, quite a lot of presence and treble, and at the same time, first I felt like a little bit like okay, uh, rectifier. I can't get it to, to be like in your face enough. But then when I played it, after a while, I actually was like, this is actually pretty cool, and I came up with the, the song you heard, like literally in a couple of minutes, <laughs> Th those riffs. And I doubled the rhythm guitar afterwards, after I filled myself. So the, the signal chain is one of my Tokai, Tokai? ESP <laughs> signatures. This one with EMG 81 and 85. Then it goes to my pedal board and I don't have anything on. Well, the Ford is all. And Many people ask where I keep my noise gate. The Zool, it's after the tuner, so always before. I don't put in an effect loop anything. Maybe delay if I'm playing for live applications, but I mean, you know, if there's some noise or his, that's part of the charm. Like, and I want to, I don't want anything to be between power amp and preamp. You know, all the noise, all the gain, everything to the power, you know, that's rock and roll. So the Zool is in front of everything, the key input, and then the normal input. It's, it's like the last on, on, in the, on my pedal board. So it's first and the last 
check out the, the zoo, it's probably the best gate there is. Really cool, and I, I have it barely open. So it just cuts the... If I turn it off... So, it's amazing. I, I, I keep it basically on zero, it just cuts all the hits and, and stuff. Pretty cool. So, no overdrives, nothing straight into the into the amp. And it has a... I need to cheat a bit, because, because uh, I didn't prepare much for this video, because I was just so inspired. It has two 5881 power amp tubes. I guess the previous versions of this had 6 or 60s. And then 6JJ ECC83, which is 12AX7. And JJ, I have pretty much JJ ECC83S preamp tubes on all my amps. It's my favorite tube. Just, just works fine. I guess one of them is driving the clean channel to the drive overdriven channel, then probably effect loop, and one is a phase in inverter. And you can make it to 8 watts, then it operates in a triode mode, the power tubes. On, on 51 watt, it's in, in pentode mode, which, which I like. Uh, the boogie I always use on Pentode, the Mark 2C Plus channel, although the original Mark 2C Plus was wired in triode, but I like the feel of a Pentode and the bigger headroom of a Pentode operation. So, yeah, it's... There's plenty of gain, like... Again, the sweet spot for me... There. And I, I didn't find any need to use overdrive. I mean, let's let's try with the SD. You get that with SD, so it works fine. Let's try with the two screamer TS808. I feel that this amp, amp works the best, like, without anything, just in front. It, you know, dial the bass back a little bit, the more gain you dial in so that it doesn't get go flabby. But yeah, stays really cool. And I haven't checked out the clean channel at all, because I just wanted to record the song, and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna film this. So it comes with a channel, like food switch. Okay, and let's check out the clean channel. Uh, There's boost, yeah. Course. Nice clean channel, and let's see... Okay, you can drive it when, when you dial more volume. Okay, let's happen, what happens with the pull boost. this like a well it's like mid mid boost kinda but it doesn't cut the lows this nappy kinda you know finger picking good old chicken picking thing yeah it's great okay 
Let's jump back to the lead tunnel. <laughs> Then let's let's compare it to other amps. I haven't compared at all, so let's see what happens. Bypass off, off. Uh, let's fire up the bad boy too. So these are 120 watt, 90, 100 watts. So I probably need to adjust the input signal a little bit. And yeah, the. I interrupted myself while I did the signal change. So yeah, guitar, pedal board, KAG audio, electronics, amp switcher, amps, back from the amps speaker out here, then to the Sandrock React IR, reactive load, where I'm using, <laughs> guess, Valovertos, my signature IR from Jens Bukren's lead and clean pack. But like you heard, it works on everything. It's a Overall, great, general, you know, good impulse response. From a standard Mesa Boogie 4x12 cabinet loaded with Vintage 30s, mic with three different microphones. Okay, so first the Paul Rich Miss Smith. <laughs> Man, it's loud. It, this is some Master 5. Yeah, that's why. This remind me, me, reminded me a bit of rectifiers, because it was a little dark and felt like the sound is a little bit behind. But uh, I feel that this isn't as behind, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I guess Jumari used rectifiers back in the day, so I, I believe this is just a kind of in that same ballpark, but I feel it's a little bit more present, present, present and aggressive, but compared to 5150, not exactly, and I already know that the bad boy and the boogie will be like totally in your face, because they are, they are so in your face, which I like a lot, so let's try the Paul Reed Smith and then the boogie, this is a, now it's Mark 2C plus, mode on the third channel. I really like that because it's so like in your face. It, it cuts through the mix so so well. It's quite unforgiven the MK2C plus on pentode mode but I like it a lot. Okay, and yeah, I'm switching the KHE with my mini switcher here. And then let's try the PRS compared to Bad Boy. Well. Yeah, that's, there's a reason why I have named it Bad Boy, because <laughs> it's like, and it's really noisy, but it's part of the charm. No effect loops, nothing, it's an old 84 Marshall 2203, JCM 2203. Okay, <laughs> let's go through these all, Bad Boy, Boogie, Fit 50 and PRS. So yeah, I have a super overdrive in front of the Bad Boy. 
nothing in front of the boogie and uh, two screamer TS-808 in front of the 50. Like here, these two are a bit more similar than these two are like it's it's an, another ball game <laughs> but yeah it's a bit like dark but you heard the song it still cuts through the mix and I didn't do any EQ except the usual a small low cut I think I had it on like 80 Hertz or something just to get rid of the and high cut at I think it was like 12.5 K, you know, so that there's a room for cymbals and, you know, bass and kick drum takes care of the low frequency. Pretty usual, but other than that, I didn't sculpt the sound. So, yes, a bit like rectifiers, which I never have liked that much. I've always had a hard time dialing the sound that, you know, like alone, it's really cool, massive and nice. But then I've always had a hard time. I guess I said that already. Dialing a sound that cuts through the mix with them. Maybe because I, I, have, I have played with 800 since early 90s. My first tube amp 800. And the, the boogie I really like because it, it, it reminds me of a kind of like 800, that aggressive, in your face, unforgiven sound, but still has the kind of American vibe. You know, the 606 is different design, but to me, these pair really well well together in a mix and then for if I want to have like American darker sound then I, I, I use 5150 because it still has that kind of Marshall -y vibe in there because I mean Eddie Van Halen used to use Marshall Plexis I don't know if you can see one there so that's kind of evolution of that but yeah this is how I would describe or recommend if you like rectifiers but think that they are a little bit too soft and not like in your face enough this could be a absolutely great option great clean channel with the pull boost this is this would be cool if this would be food switchable also I don't know if it's possible probably with some mudding, but at least with this food switch that comes with the amp, you can only change the, the clean lead channels between them. And the lead channel is, I think it's really unique. Kind of this, I don't know the word in English, or I, I don't even know if there is a word in English, but if you know Finnish, korskea, you know, like uh, horses, like stampy, like I feel that it's, it's that. It's kind of nice and dark, but on the other hand, it isn't. It's really <laughs> positive. Well, I, to be honest, I didn't know what to expect. I've never played with a PRS amp, amp before. If an amp inspires me to write a song like that, and I didn't have to do basically anything in a mix, and the sound, well, <laughs> things pretty much dead center, a little bit more pre treble and presence, you know. It can be bad. It's more than it's. It's really good. Special sound, totally different than what I have here. Hopefully, if I found this to be interesting and informative, if you like, you know the drill. Thumbs up. Please subscribe. So on. And hey, my link in the description to the Bogren impulse response. If, if you're interested, use that and you'll get a 10% discount, and I'll get a small commission. And if you like to have cool accessories, clocks and colors, link in there, you get 20% discount. Anyway, thanks. See you soon. Take care. Bye.